everyone today we're talking about the WBC counter um, this is used when you're performing a manual WBC diff because your automated uh, CBC WBC count uh, or the fractions were looking kind of crazy it's part um, you also do a blood smear review when you're doing a WBC differential as well you're going to scan the area um, for any uh, cell clumps on the outsides of the smear. Uh, you'll be looking at the red cells and the white cells and the platelets to make sure that everything uh, looks pretty much how your uh, WBC printout, or, sorry, your CBC printout um, indicated. Uh, but then you're going to be counting 100 white cells and uh, looking at these different kinds of white cells, you're going to be counting what you have actually in the smear to see if your uh, automated diff was actually correct. So you have the basophils here. It gives you a beautiful picture of what they look like. The eosinophils. We have myelocytes here, or um, you can see that they've got the nucleoli and the nucleus and a little bit of granulation there. Oh, I'm moving the plastic. Um, juvenile myelocytes. Um, then you have uh, bands and segmented neutrophils. Then you have lymphocytes, monocytes, um, and then you have the total over there. So over here, you're basically looking for immature white cells that are uh, most likely in the myelocytic line. If you're, if you're finding that you have a lot of um, premature lymphs, you can be counting them under the juvenile here. So these, these basically are um, indications of cells that you're going to see possibly on the smear, but you can make uh, any of these be whatever you want. So if some of these don't actually fit with what you see, um, maybe you don't have myeloblasts, uh, maybe instead you have more of lymphoblasts, you could put that there or here. It really doesn't matter. It's up to you. Um, but you may see um, the immature white blood cells only in the thick area. So make sure that you scan the entire smear uh, before you start your count in an area where there's, um, you know, red cells that are spaced out nicely, they're not, you know, constantly touching and on top of each other, and the red cells look good in regard to their actual morphology and all that. So you just want to make sure that uh, you scan everything first to see if there are clumps and immature white cells that maybe you may not see in the thin area. Okay, so when we do this, um, we'll be on the microscope and we'll have our hands, you know, um, in places that would have most of the um, cells. So mainly you're over here because you'll see, um, you'll see monocytes, you'll see lymphocytes, segmented neutrophils, and you'll have some bands. And then, you know, you don't have as many eosinophils and basophils, so that's why they're all at the end. You don't usually have a lot of immature um, whites either, uh, so you can move these around if you wanted to in regards to the pictures. But uh, when you're going through and you're scanning, uh, you're going to be hitting whatever cell line it is that you're seeing. Obviously, you should be seeing more neutrophils than anything else, um, but you may have um, you ha may have more than you bargained for, and that's obviously why you're doing the differential. So you'll just keep going through here, and when it gets to 100 cells, it's going to ding, okay? So I'm just going to... Um, I'm going to press some um, and get us up to 100, and then we'll be back. Okay, so currently I'm at 94 total, so I'll just keep pressing. Then you heard the ding, you get to 100, and then you stop. Okay, in order to um, look at the results that you have, you know, you can compare them to your CBC printout or what's on the screen. Um, modern day systems, you actually are doing the counts, the differentials on the computer keyboard. You don't 
even really use these anymore. It all depends on the LIS system that your laboratory uses. But these are fun because they have the pictures of what they are and it's great for students to learn on. So when you wanna reset it, you just turn the knob and see it starts to turn the dials. It's gonna keep on dinging, that's okay. And then when you get back to zero, you leave it alone and that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Thank you, bye.